Alshon Jeffrey will come back to play for the Philadelphia Eagles, but it looks like Travis Fulgham will miss snaps. Oh hell no! We got to talk to. We got to call the general about this one. Nah, it ain't going down like that. Fully fresh call. We're gonna see what he got going on. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo, that. What's going on, man? Hey, listen, man. You heard? Uh, you heard Alshon Jeffrey coming back, right? I don't give a damn about no Alshon Jeffrey. We got Travis Fulgham, man. Exactly, exactly. But no. Nah, they saying that since uh, since I was shot coming back, Travis Fulton going to lose snaps, wait, man. Wait, 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 what? Oh, hell no, 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 no. I got to get Doug Peterson on the phone. Somebody, I need to talk to somebody. Like, no, this can't go down like that. This kid been balling for us. He's been leading the league. He's been leading the league in all up uh, down there, every statistical category since he came into the, in, in, into the game week four. Nah, nah, we need to talk about this. Yo, that. S. S. Eagles! Eagles! Say fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>so aka a fourth for the battle bird podcast yes a fourth man y'all all fourth too if you haven't done it make sure you hit that sub button man you already know what to do hit the bell next to it and let you know when i put up all this flavor and make sure you hit that like man appreciate it man hey did you miss me i know i've been going for the last couple of days man did you miss me man hey hey we still got some things to talk about though we still got some things to talk about before i get into travis fogum and Alshon jeffrey I just want to say for the record that I watched Red Zone yesterday. And I was going to make a video about this yesterday, but I'm like, nah. I'm going to let everybody chill. You know, it's been it's been a real busy week for me, man. A lot going on, you know what I mean? But I'm always going to try to get y'all content every single day. I took two days off, man. You know, I hope y'all don't hold that against the general. But uh, it is what it is, man. Everybody need a break. But hey, here's what I got to say. I watched the red zone. You know what I mean? I seen Patrick Mahomes overthrows. I seen Patrick Mahomes miss his uh his, miss his uh his flanker or his running back wide open. I seen that. I seen Russell Wilson have three to four turnovers, two picks, two fumbles. I seen Tom Brady have the worst, probably the worst quarterback showing I ever seen in my life me and Mike shout out to Mike I know y'all probably seen the post me and Mike was playing Mike only needed nine points to beat me and all he had was Tom Brady he couldn't even get my man nine points yo it was it was at a point in the third quarter his his, his score for fantasy Tom Brady I mean was 0.2 three picks so man I say that to say this Everybody makes mistakes in the, in the NFL. And I'm not saying this just so y'all be like, well, absolve Carson Wentz for everything that he does. No. I'm just saying Carson Wentz gets so much backlash, so much from us, from the from, from the national media. And everybody does it. I seen Kyle Allen. I don't really want to, uh, 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 uh. Kyle Murray, should should I say? I don't really. He's only a second year player. I don't really want to bring him up, but a lot of people say he's better than Carson Wentz. I seen him fumble at the fumble. You know what I mean? I, 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 I listen, man. I'm gonna tell you like this, show. Everybody has their bad days. Carson Wentz had his bad days, but shout out to him tweeting. He's been. He's focused. He's focused, and he's gonna come out better. And I think that he will. Now let's get at the front office let's get at mr doug peterson let's get at mr howie roseman let's get at mr jeffrey Laurie. let's talk this is what i don't understand that's what i don't get you kept alshon off of the pup list taking up a roster spot he has not played yet and we're going in on week nine ten Now, all of a sudden, he's healthy. 
first of all, he was supposed to be healthy about four, four weeks ago. You know what I mean? And then he got sick. Now we got a calf injury and all this old bull crap. But yet and still, we we lose a Casey Tuhill. We keep losing guys because you want to keep this guy on the active roster. For what? And now you're telling me that he's going to take snaps from Travis, Travis Fogum? Are you freaking kidding me? Let me tell y'all something, man. No way, no how. It ain't. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. We all should sign a petition right the hell now. It shouldn't happen. And I don't care if Alshon come on the scene balling. Once again, you're hindering your quarterback. Once again, he got to learn a whole nother player. Because Alshon Jeffrey is not the same player that he was in 2017, 18, and 19. He's just not. So Carson Wentz has to learn somebody else. We finally got camaraderie back. Wide receivers being back. Camaraderie with a Travis Fogel, who since week four, since he entered... I'm not going to say enter the league, but since he started playing, has been leading then at everybody in, in categories. Yards, catches, targets. Yes, that is Travis Fogum. Like second and in, in, in touchdowns. Yes, that's Fogum. That's not Oshan. I don't get it. Who gives you the best chance to win? It's camaraderie. It's not just over. It's not just about who getting paid the most, man. I understand Oshan Jeffrey getting $21 million. I don't Give a damn. Travis Fogan, we you need to let this kid ride out. And 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 why can't you have him? Shout out to Be More Philly when we talk. He said, why can't you have them both on the field at the same time? You have Rhaegar in your slot. You put Fogram over there at the Z. And you have um and you have and you have uh Alshon Jeffrey at the X. I ain't got no problem with that, but I don't need to see a decrease. And Fogram, I don't. How do you reward somebody for holding it down by telling them they got to take a step back? It's not like it's a situation to where as though Alshon Jeffrey is better than her. Because last time I seen Alshon and the last time I seen Fogram, Fogram is better. Yes, he is. That's just facts, man. Like... This organization, once again, you do it again. Every week you, you every week you throw something my way that I got to criticize y'all for. I don't like doing this. I don't like having to come at y'all neck. But at the same time, I'm going to make sure that I do. Because it ain't fair to, it ain't fair to Travis Fogram. It ain't fair to Carson Wentz. And yes, I'm going to say it's not even fair to Alshon Jeffrey. Because you know what's, you know what's going to happen with Alshon? Everything he does is going to be critiqued it because he has to fill the shoes of Travis Fogum. Yes, he does. He has to keep what Travis Fogum is doing if you're going to bench this kid. Oh, police. I'll put my, mm. Anyway, <laughs> I don't mess with the popo, man. But anyway, um, yeah, you have to make sure he, man. My bad, y'all. Cops just messed me up. But we're going to get it back. We're going to get it back. You got to make sure if you're going to put this kid in, man, and Nina Alshon, if, you, if, if you're going to take Fogram out and put Alshon in, he needs to get quick plays. We need to see what he what, what he can do from the rip. We ain't on, we don't need to wait. We need to see what he can do from the rip. But I I just don't like the move. I say keep Fogram where he at. Keep Fogram where he's at. And you sprinkle in Alshon. Same thing I was saying about Jordan Mailata and Jason Peters. You keep Jason, you keep uh, uh, Jordan Mailata where he's at, and you sprinkle in uh, 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 Jason Peters, putting him at guard. Listen, man, I'm trying to tell you the attachment to older players is what's hindering us. It's what's hurting us. Some older players have panned out, like a like 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 a. Uh, like a Brandon Graham and even a McLeod. Some older players have panned out, but others have not. And if they're not panning out, they need to find themselves sitting on the pond. Listen, man, that's really all I got for the day, man. We got some other things going on that we're going to get into by the end of this week. You already know do's and don'ts coming. Hey, listen, like I said, I've been having a very, very um, busy 
and a very eventful last couple weeks. It's been kind of crazy on my side. But what I can say is if I owe you a gift card, it's either on the way or it's coming to you. Best believe that, man. I, I, uh, I got with everybody. You know what I mean? Check your emails. Check your emails. Check your comments. And, you know, just let me know, man. Let, let me know when y'all get that drones in, man. Seriously, I've been slacking, but I'm back now. All right? Yo, that.